What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this episode, we are going to be building a DIY kitchen for your canopy, all cheap, all budget from Bunnings. Let's have a look. Righto, so now that we've got our three sides and top all made up, we can go ahead and start putting it all together. So what we're gonna be using is Sally's Liquid Nails. This stuff is unreal. And just some your run of the mill building screws. So let's get all this stuff knocked together and see how it turns out. Now that we've got the fridge box made up and sitting in the back of the ute, it's time to get on with the draw. Let's go. Now, yes, I know I really should have a mask on for this, um, but I don't have one. So um, don't do what I do. Just if you're gonna spray paint, use a mask. thought for a fair while about whether to paint the inside or not but I don't know just looking at the plywood I think it's going to look a lot better with the black in there than just normal plywood but I don't know what, what do you guys reckon do you like the sprayed inside or would you rather it be you know natural timber look or stained or something like that let me know what you think in the comments
Righto, everything's carpeted. So I'll swing you around, Harper's over here, double checking all my measurements. Where does it look, bub? Yeah. It look, looks good? Yeah. <laughs> so I've done everything in individual pieces of carpet, like you just saw. And we've got the inside sprayed black. <laughs> Is that good? Does it look good? No. It's off? What? Oh. Do we have to make another one now? I think I can make it magic back. You make it magic back. All oh, right, sweet. You work your magic, bub. All right, so everything's carpeted. Now the last piece is just the drawer itself. So let's get to work making the drawer, fit it inside the frame, and get everything in the ute. So I've got a bit of a hot tip as well for when you're doing your draw runners. Now, it might not work for everybody, but I've got to raise my draw runners up uh, about 50 mil, but I've left myself 10 mil clearance at the top for the front panel and things like that. So what I've done, I'm gonna slide the draw runner in, but my spirit level is about just short of 55 mil. What I'm gonna do is come in, sit it right up against the wall, and sit my draw runner straight on top of it. Put it into exactly where I need it, then screw it straight in. Easy little way to make a draw runner, hot tip. G'day guys, now future Luke here, but the timber that I'm using for the slide out bench is this Specrite panel from Bunnings. Now, um, it's really cheap, really easy to work with, and uh, I'm just sealing it up with this Aqua Deck, uh, Deck Oil from Cabots. Now, it does say that you're supposed to brush this on, but I had a little bit of microfiber towel laying around, and I've just decided to wipe it on with that. So I'm applying two coats and then just screwing it straight onto our drawer runners underneath our drawer so absolutely awesome product to use this cabot stuff and the timber went on like a dream so really really highly suggest using this stuff
Right, oh, so just like that, this DIY kitchen build is done. Now, this has been by far the biggest build that I've ever sort of tried to undertake by myself. And to be honest, I could not be happier with how it's turned out. Now, you guys have probably already picked it from the last little sequence, but we have decided to go with an upright fridge. Now, if you guys wanna have a look at the fridge itself, why we've chosen it and how it works with our setup, then go over and check out the video on screen now. But until then guys, get out and about and see you in the next one.